Hey guys, welcome back to Dirk's. Um, I decided I don't like this weapon. <laughs> it, I think the move set's really clunky, and I think part of the reason I was so wibbly wobbly about fighting the uh, gargoyles is because it was just a weird move set that I just I don't really like it all that much. So we're gonna see if we can replace this thing. Um, it, it's been nice, and it'll serve as a nice backup weapon for us later, but at the moment, I just don't feel like continuing to use it. And I would rather use the weapon that uh, it would be more likely that all of you would find anyway. So, yeah. We're gonna do that. Um, first of all, I need to check and see if I've got the right shit here. Master key... Key. Huh. Okay, hang on. I need to look something up. Okay, that's what I thought, sorry. Okay, um, we are gonna get in this elevator. And then we're gonna get off this elevator. And we're gonna go over to there to the roof. The roof, the roof is on fire. The way we're gonna get to the roof is we gotta go this way. Let's see if I can do this. Fuck. That was not as much damage as I thought it was going to be. Alright, this might take a couple tries, because I'm really bad at jumping from place to place. Especially with a new jump button that is not in Dark Souls 2. I, I swear, having to relearn the controls in this game is half of the difficulty. Oh, God. No. Bad. Bad enemy. What the hell is that noise? All right, that's weird. I don't know what that is. Okay, let's just let's just go up to the roof. Woo! All right, made it. Good. Okay, so now we gotta go over. Oh, crap! We gotta go over this way. I think we gotta go down here. Oh, and then we gotta go. There we go up on the roof. Up on the rooftop. There we go. That's what we needed. We needed that key. Um, while we're up here, we might as well grab what's on that skeleton warrior. Listen to Mr. Whoever that is breathing again. I didn't hear him before. Also, someone told me the... Um, actually, Voldex told me the two-handed moveset for this halberd is the only good moveset, and the one-handed moveset for this thing sucks ass. So, that's even more reason for me not to use it, because I would want to use my shield. So, as a result, I think we're just gonna keep this as a backup weapon. I'm glad I upgraded as much as I did, and it'll come in handy for a little while, but we're just... we're not gonna be using it that long. Hello. We are a ball. It's pretty sure this way you had to. Oh, there we go. Okay, it just took a while. And we're back. There's something really nice here. I don't remember what it is, but we're gonna try to get it really quick. And we have to re-clear the asylum in order to grab it. So that's what we're gonna do. But it should be really easy to re-clear this asylum because we have God Weapon. Or maybe I'll die. 
That's also a thing. I really don't want to die, actually. Can you guys leave me alone, please? Thank you. There we go. Nice little clean swat. You have to see why I don't like <laughs> not having a shield. It, it's, it's leaving me feeling very vulnerable. And I know there's going to be some people that are like, get good, play with two hands, but I don't... No, that's not what I want to do. I want to get good, yeah, but not like this. This is supposed to be for you guys. It's supposed to be, you know, sort of guide. And I screwed up. I shouldn't have fought the gargoyles with this thing. I should have just done it normally the way I should have. Uh, I was planning on doing it with the... Uh, Drake sword and summoning Solaire just to show how, you know, I would recommend you do it, but I got caught up on my stupid halberd, and so that's already done, as is. And, um, there's not much of a difference in the fight with Solaire. It's honestly a bit easier if you summon him, and, yeah, I think I'm just worrying too much about it. But for the rest of the stuff, I'll, I'll use my tried and true method. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go right here, fall down, and then we're going to get the hell out of the way, and I want to see how fast I can kill this thing. This demon is an asshole. I was back enough. Man, he's got a lot of health. This is gonna be rough. <sighs> Maybe I can do it. Maybe I can be good. Whew. A lot more health than I remember, that's for damn sure. Let me try to power attack him. Oh, that was a really bad idea. Completely missed. stabbing. Oh god. Come on, stray demon. Be nice to me. Be nice to me, please. Don't be don't be bad. Don't be mean. Oh god. Woo! Those shockwaves are pretty freaking dangerous. I don't know how that one missed me. Wow, that was Blind luck. Okay, great. Stray Demon dead. Stray Demon is pretty much exactly like the Asylum Demon. The only difference between the Stray Demon and the Asylum Demon is the fact that it has the shockwaves. Um, they're pretty dangerous shockwaves, to be honest. So if you can avoid them by just taking a step back and then continuing to attack on its butt, it's the best option. And... I was fortunate with the weapon I had because it made it really a lot faster to kill it, but um, its attack pattern is pretty easy once you learn it, and it just comes down to that. Also, if you have the tin flasks from the bonfire fire at Firelink Shrine, it's it should be even easier to kill him. I was chugging Estes like a boss there for a second. But anyway... I did see that guy down there. We are going to go back and kill him in a second. But first, I want to make sure I've got all my souls spent, because, yeah, that's important. And now that I'm not planning on using this thing with one, or with one hand, I'm going to actually dump everything in Endurance. That's probably the best option, <laughs> actually. I mean, we need to get that jacked up. We're really behind on our Endurance. 
that's part of the reason I can't combo as well as I could before is because I put more points in strength off the bat than endurance in order to wield a stupid polearm. <laughs> but yeah. Um, Alright, let's go back and kill that Black Knight at the end of Corridor we saw earlier. It's uh, pretty critical. There's a lot of Black Knights in here, and we're going to try to kill every single one of them. Because all of them have my favorite weapon, and surely one of them will drop it. Hey, buddy. That already did a lot of your health. Ooh, that was great. That worked out awesomely. I'm going to do that every single Black Knight in here. Man, I don't know. <laughs> I was dissing the polearm for a little while, and then all of a sudden it became amazing. Alright, so that peculiar doll is an important item to pick up. I don't remember when it comes in handy or for what, but we need it for something. So, yeah, we're gonna just take that with us. Also, I forgot to self set myself offline on Steam, but I don't want to screw up the capture, so I'm not gonna deal with that right now. Alright, please don't bug my friends. Please, please, please be nice. Please, please don't bother my friends. Okay. Um... I realize another thing, someone... What the... What the fuck? What the... What the fuck? Um... What the fuck? He came down to get me. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh my god. Um... Alright, well that was in case <laughs> I was going to do an explanation before that happened, but fuck, oh well. Um, that was Oscar, uh, the guy that saved us at the beginning of the game, he went hollow, and he gave us a very cool shield. Um, it's called the Crest Shield, and it has 100 physical and 80 magic resist. We're going to use it probably at some point because of that magic resist. Very handy for um, bosses that use magic attacks. So uh, I need to remember I have that. Alright. Now let's progress through the rest of this place. And see if we can get lucky. Ow. Dick. Because the weapon I'm looking for is the Black Knight sword. Um, there's a Black Knight version of all of the weapons, and they're pretty much the best weapons in the game, if I haven't mentioned this already. I'll go ahead and briefly re-explain it. All of the Black Knight weapons are really good, and if you grab, you can grab any one of them, um, you can use them in-game. Tell you what, this, this is a cool way to fight these guys. I think I might just throw on the polearm for the rest of these dudes because this makes killing them very easy. And it would really suck if I didn't get a Black Knight sword from this place because this is where all the Black Knights are and they don't respawn after you kill them. So hopefully I'll get lucky here because uh, using this halberd for the rest of the game would make it not what I want. Actually, you know what? I'd go as far as to restart my playthrough if I didn't get a uh, Black Knight sword. Yup, that's how important it is, and that's how much I like it. The moveset just jives with me. I, I can't explain it past that. But Oscar's normally up here, so I don't know where he is. Okay, well, that's weird. Maybe he'll be up here, or uh, maybe... Oh, oh god, ow! I forgot that was there. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't do a lot of damage, damn it. Hey, bitch. No. Bad zombie. Farker. Surely there's another Black Knight around here somewhere. That would be depressing if we already killed the two Black Knights that can possibly drop it. I think there should be at least one more. Surely. I mean, it'd be crazy if there wasn't at least one more. There's two of these guys. Ooh, whack. 
Ooh, whack. Oh my god. There's only two of them. So we didn't get it. We didn't get the Black Knight Longsword. Shit. Well, you know, actually, it's fine. It's fine. I'll play, I'll, I'll challenge myself. How's that? I'll just play with this thing and, and forego the shield for now. That's odd, though. Okay, guys. So, I was thinking about it. And we didn't get the weapon we wanted from the Undead Asylum. And instead of, I beat the Twin Gargoyles with a weapon you normally would not have as a beginner. I just got really lucky and randomly happened to get it. So this playthrough is already not turning out the way I want. And as a result, I think I'm going to discontinue it. Um, also, I'm having recording issues with it. And I think what I'm going to do is I am going to get a... PS3 or Xbox 360 version of Dark Souls and play through it on the console using a capture card so I can actually play the version of the game that isn't laggy and buggy and weird um, and that'll be a lot easier for me to record and it'll probably look a lot better and I'll go back and play through some parts of the game again um, that I cheesed with the halberd to show how it's done with just what equipment you would be expected to have. And um, next time we'll actually have a Black Knight Longsword to work with, hopefully. I would recommend if you, if you don't get a Longsword by the time you finish the Asylum, um, or go, th go th through the Asylum again, if you don't have a Black Knight Longsword, to restart your game. <laughs> it just, it's that good. Um, it's, it's the most versatile, noob-friendly weapon you can have, and it's not too far into the game yet to where restarting would make you feel like you've lost a lot of progress. So, yeah, it really sucks that I'm, uh, that it, it's kind of come to this, but in the long run, I think it'll be a good thing. And I will come back to Dark Souls at some point, definitely. And I will not play through all of this again and start a new series. I'll leave this the way it is for now and probably amend it with another video. But um, for now, this is it. Uh, thanks all for watching. And I really appreciate all of the views and comments that I get um, from the you guys that are still watching. And um, I'm going to move on to some other stuff. So... See y'all next time.